So here I am, suddenly the king of the school. I never meant for things to turn out this way. I just wanted to control a couple of psycho kids and be left alone. But now I guess I'm certainly going to live the good life. Hey, Darby! Hey, Johnny. Hi, yo, Jimmy. what's up, brother? Hey, Jack. So I'm like, yo, it's Jimmy! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're oh, funny, man. Yo, you're man, so what's funny, going on? Jimmy. Oh, hey, girl, you're looking great. Ooh. Great. Thank you for that show, <laughs> Wow, hey, Jimmy! Oh, yeah. Hi, boys, that's all I got to say. Later. So, Jimmy. 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 See you later. I love that guy. Bye, guys. Wait up. Roll. Pete! Hey, Jimmy, what's going on? Everything. I did it, man. I took over this dump. These morons are my morons That's now. great. Just don't turn into a jerk. How could I? I... Hey, baby. How you doing? What you doing later? Just remember, Jimmy, not everybody likes you. Correct. They love me. Well, what about Gary? Gary? Forget about that twerp. Dude, it's me now. I run this place and you're my friend, so please try to be cool. Oh, man, you're bringing me down. Come on, let's go milk this thing for all it's worth. We might even find you a girl. All right, let's get this over with, children. work. Well, Jimmy, I don't know how you did it, but you passed my class. Congratulations. That was great. Mr. Galloway, should you really be doing that? Oh, Jimmy. No, I suppose not, but life is unfair. You promised Ms. Phillips. Oh, God. What kind of world do we live in where I get punished for a minor indiscretion and Hattrick gets away with taking bribes from his pupils? He does? Yes. He sells advanced copies of tests to the sons of his rich friends and nobody says a word. Wait, what rich friends? Well, Darby Harrington for one. I can't believe he's selling tests. What if I got evidence of him doing this? <laughs> then I'd never need to drink again. All right, let me see what I can do. Greetings. Did you chaps bring the money? All right, I'll pay. You drive a hard bargain. Thanks for the cash, chaps. I sure hope he shows up. I need to get my grade up. Don't worry, he'll be here soon, I'm sure. Greetings. Did you chaps bring the money? Yeah. Do you have the test? Thanks for the cash, chaps. Is that so? 
then you might want to look at these. What's this? It's that fat, evil hypocrite selling test answers to rich kids. Fire him! What? You took pictures? And to think I trusted you, hat trick? You're fired. But I... I... Bye-bye, fatty. And as for you, Galloway, there better not be anything to that drinking business. Good morning, my little cartographers! my boy. I'm afraid I've underestimated you. Congratulations! You've passed my class! Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, Jimmy. No, it's not. Jimmy, it's really funny. Chill out, man. Jimmy, I need to talk to you about something. Not now, Pete. I'm basking in adulation. I mean, running the school fairly. Dude, so fairly. No, Jimmy, please. Pete, enough. Yeah, shut up, Pete. The hey, court must know their king. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Jimmy? Forget the school. The whole town should know about you. You're like the mayor. You should leave your mark on City Hall. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Take a dump on the doorstep. <laughs> no, you homunculus. Not a dump. It's something much more elegant. Paint a warning. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll show everyone who's boss. That's right, Jimmy. All right, you girls wait here. This is gonna be something they'll never forget. Wait, Jimmy, don't forget about Gary. Wait, wait for me. I did it! That's great. Listen, we've got a problem. I'm the king, Petey, the king! Whatever. You're a king with a load of problems. I've only been gone a couple hours. What could have happened? All kinds of things. You remember that promise you made about restoring law and order and improving the school? Let's just say it ain't exactly coming true. Well, if anyone wants a fight, I'm right here. I think Gary must be behind it, but trust me, everyone wants a fight. Listen, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh,
so appalling! I don't want plague or a pet rat! It's your fault, Jimmy! Huh? What? No, it isn't. What are you guys talking about? Uh, the library uh, is full uh, of rats! And I got my pre-pre-pre-med test next week, amigo! Ah, you're such a lame old... Uh, Some king you turned out to be! Oh, how I long for the old days! Sure, we were laughed at and mercilessly bullied by everyone, but at least you could study without fear of rodents coming near us! Get off! Oh, did you piss yourself again, Algie? Ew. No, oh, I swear. Algie. I spilled soda on myself. Soda? Oh. Right. What a bunch of sissies. Well, I'm not afraid of a few rats. Jeez, pathetic. are still lurking in there. These crates? Yes, those crates. The rats appeared once those books were delivered. Everything seems to be fine, miss. I think I got them all. Thank you, Jimmy. If you have any late fees, I think we can just forget about them. I did that a long time ago. I, I mean, thank you, miss. <laughs> You feckless maggots! We'll be playing dodgeball for the next while. Ah, dodgeball! How I love the sound of boys crying in the morning. Much like real life, the strongest will prevail. All right, you lazy bums, look alive! Good! Hopkins, you're with the wimps. I want everyone to give their best, boys, their best! We got the power of the <laughs> Me! You're still gonna lose, Mustard Steen? We're gonna win because we're better! Did, did we really win? You pass my class. Come back whenever you feel like teaching these wimps a few things. I don't believe oh. this. Oh, no! Did it happen? Hopkins, come here, boy! Hey, what's oh. up, Mr. Burton? What's up? Oh, what's up? My gym oh. is up in flames. Look! Damn, how'd that happen? As if you don't know. You're a degenerate to think I trusted you. It wasn't me. Yeah, I'm no saint, but I tried to bring order to the school to stop the bullying. Ha! Bullying? I don't care about bullying. In fact, I encourage bullying. That's right. Builds moral fiber. Makes men. Yeah. Because you didn't make the team. You had to ruin it for everyone. Yeah, you bully. You're a pig. You ruined my life. What are you talking about? I never wanted to be on the team. You like to torment weak kids, and you've got the personality of a jockstrap. Yeah, well, I called the police. You'll be killed for this, my boy. It wasn't me. You're done for, Hopkins. Help. What? Who was that? It's Yuri. There's people trapped inside. Oh, I'm really scared. Money! Man, you guys are pathetic. I'll get him. Where's the fire extinguisher? By the stairs next to the locker room. But don't think I've forgiven you, Hopkins.
The principal has informed me of some drawings in the boys' washroom. Apparently, the sense of detail shows real promise. Pleasing work. Well done, Jimmy. You've completed all your assignments. If you'd like to come back to work on your skills, you're very welcome. I'm great! It's not my fault! Well, where'd he go then, you tramp? Oh, you call it a tramp! I loved Johnny. Not exclusively, I'll grant you, but I loved him. Now he's gone. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Johnny's disappeared, gone crazy, abducted by aliens. I bet it was you, Hopkins. Yeah. Since you turned up, everything's gone really weird. King of the school. Who's the daddy-o now, huh? My love has gone. Find him, King. Quit poking me. You're both acting crazy. Cut it out. Now tell me, where's Johnny? <sighs> I don't know. Nobody's seen him. He got a little broken-hearted after we split up, but it's not my fault. Someone said they saw a couple of asylum orderlies driving up to his house. But you know how people love to talk. Johnny wasn't crazy. Asylum orderlies? He was a real leader. Not like you, Jimmy. Look, I'll get your boy back, all right? See you later, freaks.
Let's see what this does. I'm free, you wankers! Thanks for getting me, kid. Hey, let's go out the back way. Follow me! Thanks for getting me out, Jimmy. How'd you get in there to begin with? Some of the local kids said they'd gotten together with Lola. I went a little crazy. I can believe that. Yeah, anyway, so I gotta find Lola, see if it's true or not. See ya. All right, Johnny. Have fun. <laughs> game. It's all about killing things and taking their stuff. What was it called? Grottos and gremlins or something like that? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing in here? I'm here to beat you up and evict you. Enough talking. Let's fight. Let's. What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, it looks like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Oh, come on. I don't want to fight you. My name's Jimmy. Zoe. I was at Bullworth once. I got kicked out. Why? Let's just say Mr. Burton is a dirty creep. Seriously? I would love to teach that guy a lesson. He bullies everyone. You know... He goes jogging every day and regularly uses the porta potties in the park. Yuck. Yeah. So if we could catch him in one on top of a hill, then Mr. Burton could have a really interesting time in it. Yeah, but they're all chained together. We'll need to get some bolt cutters. Go get some from the Spaz Industries building and meet me at the park. Make sure no one sees you. today. Keep up the good work. You're almost done. Good job. Keep paying attention. 
attention. Fascinating, isn't it? The coursework is done, gentlemen. You may go. Those of you with a keen interest in the subject may return and do work for extra credit. I'm good! <laughs> I've heard reports that some of you have been helping each other on the assignments. An admirable show of teamwork. Good one! Good one! Good one! Good one! Good one! Good one. 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 Well done, James. Well done indeed. Well, Jimmy, I suppose you don't have to come back anymore. Unless you feel like it. Your attention, please. If anyone sees Jimmy Hopkins Let's outside die. of his quarters, please... Hey, what you looking at? Hey, Zoe. You wanna have some fun, tough guy? What kind of fun? Not that kind. I only date older men or junkies. They're so romantic. Come on, what's wrong with me? <laughs> well, everybody hates you. You're a little twerp. You dress terribly. But apart from that, nothing. Oh, okay. Good. Why don't we play a little game? Come on. By older men, I hope you don't mean Mr. Burton. <laughs> hey. We're going to the Spencer Shipping Warehouse. All right, Jimmy. Here we are. A warehouse full of expensive-looking junk. It makes it much more satisfying that all this is Spencer Shipping. Wait, isn't Tad's last name Spencer? Yup. And now we're gonna play a little game. Whoever smashes up the most stuff wins.
You sure know how to have a good time, Zoe. Remember, class, the specimens are not edible, no matter how delicious they look. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. I think I'm gonna be sick. You seem to have passed biology. There must be some scientific explanation for this. I wonder, did the Mom, great! Oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent with us. I tried that when Father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it. They've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. Yes. It's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us. Apart from them. Oh, yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, la-dee-da. Now he tells us. You are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men. Let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on. Wait here. I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. All right, Vance. Did you guys steal the preppy's trophies? No way, man. After the townie's been saying all that stuff about Lola and made Johnny crazy, we don't care about those stuck-up jerks. The townies? Really? Yeah. And Johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore. But since you got him out, I'll let you walk away from this meeting. Well, since I already beat you, I guess I believe you. Your mama tried. 
Well, Hopper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fund babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? I hope you're all taking this class seriously. Music should be an amazing outlet for personal expression, not just an opportunity to bang on things.
do it, Jimmy, but you passed music class. Congratulations, you little drummer boy, you. What are you doing, school kid? Why do you care? Because you don't belong around here. Says who? Me! You? Uh-huh. You think you're funny, huh? You're a loser, man. <laughs> Damn straight! You're awesome! Do that again! I'm crazy, rich boy, crazy! And you are starting to annoy me. I'm not rich, I hate the rich kids. <sighs> not as much as I do. <sighs> I really hate them! Man, you've got issues. You saying I'm crazy? No, man. Because I am. Okay, fine, you're crazy. And someone's gonna get hurt. I don't doubt it. Those rich scum. Go smash up their mailboxes. Take my bat. Use her well. Beat any rich scum you come across. Why? Because it's them or you. Well, I know one thing. It's not gonna be me. If you're ever in doubt what to do, it's best to keep your mouth shut and keep working. So get to it! All right, you're getting somewhere now. 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 Okay, son, you've learned what there is to learn. Anytime you want to come tool around, you're welcome to. Damn, I'm good. I'm sure you'll all be happy to hear that this is the last assignment I have for you. for you, Jimmy. I'll miss these afternoons we've spent together. Straight up awesome! Huh! Look where you're going! <laughs> Very funny. I'm sorry. Did I hurt you? I'm sorry. Ugh! Aha! Now, we're even. Ah, my nose! How you doing, Clint? Me? Just fine. Ugh. Ah, top of the world! Uh. Yeah, I can see that. You seem really balanced. That's what my shrink said. Then I headbutted him, like this. Ah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay, man. All right, buddy. <laughs> you think I'm a moron, don't you? You think I'm a joke, huh? No, man, relax. You want me to headbutt you? You want to fight me? Because I'd really like that. Come on, man. We don't need to fight. We're friends. You know that. Really? Then get me a bike. I want a bike, or I want a fight. All right, I'll get you a bike. Wait here. A bike? Yeah. You 
Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in the school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you were a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man! Blind! And you are leaving! I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform or uh, attend classes. Gotta be you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. What's cooking? Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know! I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It was Gary. It must have been. I know! I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback, and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How is that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. Hey, Russell. I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy. <laughs>
an electronic security switch. I think it's in the office.
want some more? Come on, big guy. You still think messing with me is a good idea? No, no, no. Good. That's what I thought. Now, what made you think it was a good idea in the first place? Aw, oh, man. I hate that school. My parents couldn't afford to send me there, and now I'm stuck in this dump of a town. Gary said we'd make them all pay. Wait a second. Gary? That backstabbing, two-faced sociopath put you up to this? Ah, I bet he said the two of you would take over the school or some crap. Hey, how'd you know? Because he told me the same garbage. Didn't do me any good either. Come on. You're gonna help me make him pay for his lies. You know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See ya. What the hell are you doing here? Looking for you, Zoe. I think I'm in love. Don't be ridiculous. Haven't you heard? Heard what, my love? The school has broken out into a massive fight. Every gang and faction is fighting each other. What? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go. How am I gonna deal with this? I'm gonna need some serious backup. Where's Russell? Where's your buddy Edgar? R Russell has been holed up in the Wonder Meat slaughterhouse, hiding from the cops. He's worried about going to prison after stealing that bike. Russell can comprehend prison? Wow. Look, I'll see you later. Well... What about love? It'll have to wait, Zoe. Duty calls. Hey, Jim, this is your turf. What the hell's going on? The whole place has gone mental. Yeah, it's your old friend Gary. He's the one causing all the trouble. The kid's a complete psycho, and now he's got the teachers and prefects on his side. So? So, we run in there, try to stop the fighting, and find a way to deal with Gary. <laughs> all right, one question. How are we gonna stop a load of kids from beating the crap out of each other? It's America. We go in there with threats and bribes until we get what we want. If all else fails, we beat the crap out of everyone. That's why I brought along backup. Russell likes to hurt people for peace. Cool. Then it's a plan.
Why are you taking orders from Gary? Shut up, Jimmy! You left us and everything went down the toilet! I beat you once, I'll beat you again! <laughs> Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects. Me! I won! You are sad, man. I might be sad, but I've run your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins. You're like a puppet, only dumber! Whatever. Let's finish this. me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Poor little Jimmy. All alone in big, scary bulwarks. Under fire from Russell and his people. If I win, you
You're just another punk! You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would've if I'd given you the chance! Face it, I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! You hate everyone, and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <clears throat> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <clears throat> oh! I can take you, Hopkins! I heard the whole thing. You're expelled. Come and untie me, boy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <laughs> what a hero. A lone wolf. Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? Finally, everything is sorted out. More or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that. But life is certainly going to get easier.